welcome to r, &R Lifestyle. So we're here at the homestead and today is the first day that we're going to be doing some bush hogging with Henry. This is uh, Henry right here. Uh, Henry is uh, a 1970 Ford 3000 diesel tractor, 47 horsepower. Uh, so we're uh, looking forward to taking Henry out here into the property and, um, and seeing what Henry can do. Uh, we want to keep this tractor for a long, long time. Got a brand new uh, bush hog back here, a six foot bush hog, uh, to try to clean up the property a little bit. And uh, we're looking forward to it. So uh, join us on this little adventure here. First adventure is getting this thing down off the trailer. So Rhonda's going to film that. All right.
so here we are coming in the driveway through the brand new front gates we're gonna have a flagpole right there to the right and probably a Roman cross off to the left here we are coming back we just uh, trimmed this down with a bush hog today uh, and uh, coming back uh, heading, heading east here uh, down what will be the entry lane to the property Gonna need to get a landscape rake and uh, scrape up all the uh, mulch and uh, tree branches and stuff that have been chopped up by the bush hog here. Wanted our lane to kind of meander back there, and that's uh, that's what it definitely does. It kind of meanders back here. All right, so here we're coming up to the first what we call pasture, and it's on the right side. We're gonna go past it because I need to bush hog that out a little bit more. We drove the Jeep down there, but it's single lane and it's and it's not really great video. So here we are coming into the big clearing. Uh, off over there to the left, uh, we will probably put some kind of a, a pole barn back there. Right here to the right. Um, all right, so right here to the right, that's where we're gonna build the uh, chicken coop right there in that little opening that I cut out today. Uh, and. Uh, be a nice sized chicken coop for about uh, 12 young ladies and a rooster. So heading into pasture number two right here. It's obviously got a lot of little saplings and stuff that still all need to be cut out and we're gonna cut, uh, plant some uh, some nice grass in here uh, for honeybees and for uh, bobwhite quail and uh, we're still trying to decide what kind of large animals or medium size or small animals we're gonna get. We don't know yet but uh, this is going to end where we turn around back by the uh, property line. Now right here to the right, that's a cut through that I just cut to go over to pasture number two. So that'll take us over to pasture number two. Uh, or I'm sorry, pasture number one. We're on pasture number two. We figure we'll let them graze on one side and then move them over to the other side um, when it, when it uh, comes time. So just trimmed out here underneath this live oak right here. Uh, beautiful live oak here. I cut back some of the ferns and everything that was under that. And uh, and now I'm kind of turning around right here. Straight ahead of us there, that's a little fire break uh, that I cut. Um, that uh, We'll use it to uh, do little walks in the evening and stuff like that. This is the, this would be the south edge of the property right here uh, that we're at right now. Now we're headed back west now. I'm sorry, north. We're headed north. Um, so headed north here behind us is south um, so headed back over to the big clearing in the middle of the property and once we get to the clearing in the middle uh, clearing in the middle and uh, that's the direction we're headed right now all of this scrub and stuff like that a lot of it's going to be cleared out we want to leave some shade though uh, depending uh, for cover for whatever we decide to raise in here. I think we're going to try and do some bobwhite quail too. So um, we'll plant this all in. To the left right here is where we're going to put the, um, the chickens, right? To the left. I know you're not going to really see it right here. But I cut a nice little clearing right in there to put a nice sized chicken pen in here. Um, so we'll have our... Uh, our chickens right there over there to the front right of us right now on the other side of the tire that's probably where the pole barns gonna go this little road right here this leads back into uh, into where we thought we were gonna put the house but um, you know, we decided no we're not gonna do that so we're just gonna drive down there it's it gets a little thick back there uh, almost too thick even for a big hundred horsepower tractor so uh, we're, we're not going to do that for the time being here. Uh, we just cut, started cutting back in here and we might explore off to the right. I think we have higher ground over to the right side anyway. So uh, for right now, I've got uh, Henry, the tractor, parked uh, back here. Um, and I'm going to leave him back here when, until we get the uh, pole barn built up. But, uh, remove the battery um, and uh, chained it down. So, and come back out here and cover them up with the tarp and stuff to keep the weather and the, 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 the Georgia heat off of them. 
Uh, otherwise, it's going to get too hot. So here I am backing out that lane. We're going to back back into the uh, big uh, open area in the middle, and we're going to head down uh, this little lane that uh, goes down to where we uh, have an access little trail to go down to where we have our apri apiary. Uh, we've got some honeybees already out here, and uh, we're going to start bringing more and more honeybees out here to the property. They seem to love it. There's lots of uh, uh, gallberry out here for them, so I think we're going to bring them some gallberry. Um, well, there's plenty of gallberry growing out here already, so we're just going to bring the beehives out. I've got a nice little station set up, so still got to chop this out a little bit more. I want it just a, a hair wider, not too much wider, just enough to get the Jeep through there easily. Um, and then off to the right right there, that's where we were headed back to head. There's a cypress pond back that direction on the back of the property, and we were trying to get back to there, but it gets so dense. I think I'm gonna have to go in there and foot and find the path of least resistance. So we just made a left-hand turn here and we're headed, uh, this would be headed west right here. Um, we're headed west uh, to the apiary that uh, I'm starting to set up in here. Um, this actually was an old little road right here, but uh, it had been overgrown. No one's lived on this property or no one ever lived on this property. No one's, no one has, uh, been doing anything on this property since like 1970 so uh, the tree on the right the pine tree is gonna go and a couple of those little scrubs there the Jeep barely fits through that uh, little gap right there uh, there's lots of junk laying in there you see a, a, a rusty rim right there there's a couple of tires over here to the left um, and then uh, if I were to go straight that would take us straight out to the main road there's another gate down there uh, that we're going to put in, but there's a temporary gate. You can see the beehives appearing over there to the right. There's a beautiful live oak uh, to the right over there. Um, and then um, there's an old pole barn uh, lean-to for the cattle and stuff that used to be on here. I think that's all that was ever out here were some cattle. Uh, there's barbed wire in the ground and that. So you always have to be careful where you're, where you're driving, where you're mowing, bush hogging. That little lane right there doesn't really go anywhere, uh, but I just mowed it out because it was there and it was a little challenging just to walk through even single file. So uh, bush hogged it out a little bit and now we're going to head back out and head back out to that big clearing. And uh, I think you're going to see how tight it is going through those two trees in just a second here. So the one on the left there, we're going to take that one down. We'll, we'll use the lumber for it. And then the, all the little saplings uh, there on the right that are next to that bigger tree. I'll leave the bigger tree, but um, I'll take everything else down around there. So I had to get the right angle just to get the front tires through there. They literally just fit. You'll see how tight it is when we go through here. Uh, my wife's holding her hand out the window with the GoPro. Right here and yeah, look how tight that is so the rear tires were gonna hit so I had to back up just a little bit and get a little bit more left angle to get in there and she's telling me I'm clear now so on we go Ton of great big huge loblolly pines in here. 
uh, but there's some and there's some dead wood in there that I gotta uh, cut out and stuff like that um, and then uh, whatever trees we do have to fall out uh, you know fall uh, we'll use the lumber for for building structures on the on the property here so I'm gonna head back down toward the lane here now straight ahead is the lane I think we stop here briefly I can talk talking to my wife right here and just letting her know that the chicken coops gonna go off to the left over there and and uh, we can maybe use the over here to the right for parking when uh, we get into fall uh, that big pine tree right there to the right is going down uh, there'll be a lot of good lumber in that also so here we are we just passed uh, pasture number one on the left headed back out Move over here to the left and we're gonna go out the front gates and uh, thanks for joining us on a little tour here uh, it's, I'll tell you what you got to have a bush hog and you got to have a tractor if you're going to own a piece of land like this because uh, what we did today in literally an hour or two uh, it would have taken weeks with a machete and an axe and, I mean and you would have just been exhausted absolutely exhausted so uh, thanks for joining look for more videos as we uh, build up this homestead we're going to uh, build a chicken coop next that's the next plan uh, build a nice chicken coop out there and uh, start moving all of our hens out there and uh, we found out we do have one rooster because he started to crow in the morning when we're still sleeping so uh, we're gonna move him out there so thanks for joining have a good one